Shampika De Silva, Area Director of Sales for Anantara Hotels in Sri Lanka. So that's Anantara P7 Tangal Resort, Anantara Cultural Resort and Avani Cultural Resort. So um, it is absolute pleasure to be here representing Anantara P7 Tangal Resort. Uh, I would like to thank everybody who has been an integral part of this organizing another South Asia's most sought after literary festival. And it is um, even delightful this year because the uh, Gaul Concerto 2024 has superseded its expectations by adding a series of noteworthy art and music festivals along the southern coast. So we are honored to be a part of this event as we proudly present a prelude to the Gaul Festival. A refined musical weekend featuring international opera artists and celebrated local artists. So this will play, take place on the 19th and 19th to the 21st of January. So we have organized two events. One is on the 19th of January, Opera and Operetta performed at Il Mare, a specialty Italian restaurant, uh, artistic direction by Barbara Segal, an internationally acknowledged artist and a director known for her sensational work. So with her assistance, we were able to get the support of three other international artists, Carlos Gonzalez, Jorge Chagare and Christine Mendes. On 20th of January, Harmony Meets Horizon, a symphony by the sea show concert. Uh, this is uh, featuring Gustav Mahler Orchestra of Colombo, uh, conducted by Maestro Shema Bills. So these are the two events that we are going to do. This is uh, a prelude to the Gaul Festival. So there are six different events, one of which is uh, going to be at Anantara PC. We're very proud to be a part of this and we're looking forward to, uh, to making it a great success. Hi, my name is Tracy Halsinger and I am representing the Gaul Literary Festival as well as the Gourmet Gaul Festival. Um, so the Gaul Literary Festival is taking place from the 25th to the 28th of January in Gaul. And then Gourmet Gaul is actually taking place over three months. Now, both festivals are part of a program called Gaul Concerto, which is organized by the Sri Lanka Tourism Promotions Bureau. So, what is happening is that between January and March, we're going to have lots of events promoting Gaul as a destination that people from around the world can come and visit. So there's going to be a lot of arts and culture, there's going to be amazing food. Now the literary festival, we have a lot of different types of events. We have moderated conversations, we have talks, workshops, uh, curated art trails. So there's a lot of diversity there. With Gourmet Go, what is happening is that there are international chefs coming here from around the world. Very excited to have our very own Peter Puruvita coming along as well. But there's so many others that we're very excited to have coming. And their challenge is they have to go outside their comfort zone and cook really amazing gourmet meals for their guests, but using only locally sourced products. Uh, and these meals will be taking places in private villas, in hotels, in Gaul, in Maligama, everywhere. So really, we're, on behalf of both these festivals, we're very, very happy to be a part of the Gaul Concerto. Well, this is an extraordinary moment in our history when all of, has, of the country has come together to celebrate after a very difficult period in Sri Lankan history that we have come now together to celebrate our culture and our, and our music, our food, our literature under the auspices of a visionary leader, Brian Wickmerson. He inspired us all to do all this, to bring the country together and promote it internationally. And this is an example of how 500,000 to a million people will come in the next three months to the southern province to celebrate Sri Lanka.